This is Thales. Thales is the first mathematician we know about. Thales went to go visit the Great Pyramids of Egypt. He had a tour guide telling him everything he needed to know. Thales had a question. So tour guide, how tall is this pyramid again? The tour guide kind of panicked. Well, we don't really, uh, I mean, um, we had to like measure that and then we had to like come to the top and it was kind of made like a really long time ago and um, not really sure. I mean, we kind of know, we kind of don't know and it's kind of complicated and um, uh, yeah, it's kind of odd and uh, yeah, we don't really know how tall it is. I see, said Thales. Well, I am going to figure it out. Well, um, I don't really think that's possible, sir, because like no one's ever done it, so I don't think you can do it. But Thales was determined, and he did figure it out. I've got it. The pyramid is about 34.5 centimeters tall. How did you figure that out? It's a simple process, and I'll teach you. Thales knew he was about 7 centimeters tall. Thales' shadow was 8.5 centimeters long. He measured half of the base of the pyramid plus the length of the pyramid's shadow. This equaled 42 centimeters. Then he wrote an equation. This is the formula that Thales came up with. First you have a small object. In this case, it's Thales. So Thales, you have the height of Thales on top over here. And then on the bottom, you have um, the shadow of Thales. And then this equals to the shadow of the pyramid and the height of the pyramid. This is the equation. So here's the equation he wrote out. First, he wrote his height, which was seven centimeters. Then he wrote the height of the shadow, which was eight point five. Then this was equal to the length of the pyramid shadow which was 42 and the height of the pyramid was X. So how did he figure this out? First he multiplied 42 times 7 to get X by itself. 42 times 7 is 294. Then he had an equation look like this. Then he divided 294 by 8.5, which was 34.5. This was how tall the pyramid was. So, uh, I guess you were right about that whole triangle pyramid thing. Yeah, um, I guess I was. But here's my question. So why does this work? I don't understand. Because you kind of do all these equation stuff and it doesn't even make any sense to me. Well, I guess I'd better explain it. Why does this work? It's because of triangles. So, let's look at this. We can see here that between Thales and his shadow is a right angle. It's a right angle triangle because the sun is coming from right here and hitting Thales and then creating his shadow at a right angle. The same thing is happening between the pyramid and its shadow. Here's the pyramid and its shadow extends out this way in the same way as it does for Thales because the sun is hitting them both at the same time. And so there's a proportion between Thales and his shadow and the pyramid and its shadow and they're the same proportion and so we have to find the proportion um, between Thales and his shadow and multiply x by itself like I showed you earlier, and that is how it works because of the proportions and right angles.
Well, I'll see you next time on Great Teaching Math Concepts uh, from Thales. So, yep, see you later.